three, two, one, let's go. What's going on my beautiful channel family? Today is Monday, July 29th. My friends, another day the most I has made and one day closer to our blessed hope. And this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. Guys, we got some interesting updates today. You don't want to miss this. But first, let me say thank you for tuning back in with us today. We love you and your support means the world to us. If you can, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that notification bell is turned on. That way you can stay on top of all the latest end time news. Now while the Watchmen Battle News Channel is an end time news channel, our main goal and mission is to point you to our Father and Creator, the Most High God, and the finished work of His Son, Jesus. And in my opinion, nothing shows God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Family, that's the definition of true love right there. Guys, think about this for a moment. Where will we be without the cross? Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. And family, as always, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports, drop them in the comment section below, and the prayer team, we'd be honored to pray over your requests. I notice a lot of our channel family members are struggling right now, including me, myself. So let's lift them all up in prayer. And guys, I got a special prayer request I'm going to request of you guys. Family, we need the most high to make a way for us to pay our rent. And my daughters need some stuff for school. We got the boys taken care of. And guys, I don't have the funds to help them with it. So will you guys please pray that the most high make a way to make all this happen? I greatly appreciate it, guys. I love you. Now, family, to today's end time news update. Let's go! Alrighty, my beautiful channel family, we're back with an end time news update for Monday, July 29th, 2024. Guys, we got multiple end time headlines to look at today. Family, I'm telling you truly, it becomes more apparent by the day that we are living in the biblical last days. Bible prophecy is all coming together and this world is being set up for the time of Jacob's trouble. So guys, what you say without further delay... Let's get into our end time news update. You know why? Because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Alrighty, headline number one is from Fan Buzz on July 27th. And this end time headline reads, Reported in Paris as the Olympics get underway, signs of divine intervention. This is interesting. Check it out. So family, the lights went out in Paris shortly after the opening ceremony of the 2024 Summer Games, which saw God and Jesus both be mocked, and the Antichrist agenda was pushed on TV with millions watching all around the world, including children. Now family, I believe the lights going out, I truly believe that was an act or warning from the Most High God. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go check it out. It's not a coincidence that the lights went out in Paris after all that blasphemous stuff they did during the open ceremony. So let me ask you a question. Do you think the lights going out in Paris after the opening ceremony was an act of the Most High God or was it just a random event? Let us know in the comment section below. Now the headline number two. And it comes from Fox Weather on July 27th. And this end time headline reads... California's park fire, now among largest in state history, as evacuation orders spread. Family, this is an intense situation in California. We got brothers and sisters on this channel and the path of this, so guys, we need to keep them in our prayers. Check this out. So, Northern California near Chico, they are battling a blazing inferno that's being called one of the most devastating fires in California history. And it's estimated that this blaze has destroyed close to 400,000 acres and this blaze caused many to evacuate and million others have been warned. Now this is an intense situation. Let's see where this fire ranks in the history of California fires. Family, check out this list right here. It comes in so far at number 7. Family, if they don't get this thing detained, it could easily be the top 5 most devastating fires in California history. Let's remember to keep the people of the path of the fire in our prayers, please. Now to headline number three. And it comes from the Common Sense Show on July 23rd. And this end time headline reads, 
Project Bluebeam is the globalist trump card when all else fails to subjugate humanity. Now family, this is very interesting. Let's get into this and listen closely to this, guys. Now family, this was an interesting article. If you're not aware of what Project Bluebeam is, let me give you the cliff notes of it. It's an idea that the global elite will use holograms and technology to fake an alien invasion and present a fake rapture possibly. A deception in the sky. And with technology advances family, this is a very real possibility they could try something like this. I don't know if you've seen the hologram performances they did of Michael Jackson and Tupac a few years ago. They look very real and technology has come even further since then. Can you imagine what they could pull off now with technology? Now Project Bluebeam has a lot to do with aliens. Do you remember what Pope Francis said? He would baptize aliens if they come to the Vatican, stating, Who are we to close doors to anyone, even Martians? The Pope desires to position the Jesuit order to usher in a new reality of accepting aliens and their existence, which are telepathic. A lot of people believe that when this happens, it could be 3D holograms or 4D holograms. I could see that. Or it also could be fallen angels coming back to Earth the size as aliens. Could that be the strong delusion the Bible talks about? In 2 Thessalonians 2.11 And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. Family, I personally believe when the rapture of the church happens, this verse is talking about the way they cover up the rapture of the church, and I truly believe they're going to say aliens come down and took people. Family, let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Now to headline number four. And our fourth headline, it comes from All Israel News on July 24th. And this end time headline reads, Ben Giver declares, Jewish prayer on Temple Mount will be allowed, breaking with the status quo. Then the caption reads, With Netanyahu asleep in the U.S., Ben Giver tries second attempt to change prayer. So the controversial Ben Giver, who we talked about a lot on this channel, who is the National Security Minister for Israel, well, on Wednesday, he declared a change to the long-standing status quo at Jerusalem's Temple Mount. Listen to what Ben Giver had to say, and I quote, I was on the Temple Mount last week. I prayed on the Temple Mount, and we pray on the Temple Mount. I am the political echelon, and the political echelon allows Jewish prayer on the Temple Mount, Ben Giver declared, end quote. Now the article states this, as National Security Minister, Ben Giver is responsible for Israeli police which enforce Israeli law on the Temple Mount site, predominantly managed by an Islamic organization under the control of the Kingdom of Jordan. So check this out, Ben Giver's controversial statement came during a speech at the Israel's Return to the Temple Mount conference in the Knesset building on Wednesday, and against the backdrop of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's visit to the U.S. So while Benjamin Netanyahu was in the United States, Israeli Security Minister Ben Giver, with the return to the Mount Movement, who was a big, big movement wanting a third Jewish temple, he attempted to change the status quo and allow Jewish people to pray at the Temple Mount. Now Netanyahu found out about this and listened to this headline from Hearts. Status quo stands. Netanyahu overrules Ben Giver, who said Jews can pray on Temple Mount. I'm telling you, family, I feel like there's something boiling at the Temple Mount, and before too long, it's going to overflow. Guys, keep your eyes on the Temple Mount. Now the headline number five. And our fifth headline is from Israel 365 News on July 26th, and this end time headline reads, Rabbi, election will be choice between Kamala Harris as Daniel's fourth kingdom, or Trump as second non-Jewish messiah. Wow. Family, we gotta look at this one right here. So a rabbi recently published a video describing America as the spiritual descendants of Esau. The Biden-Harris administration was, he explained, the fourth kingdom described by Daniel that comes before total society collapse. And he says a second Trump tournament office would, on the other hand, be a replay of Cyrus, the non-Jewish messiah, who will help Israel build the temple in Jerusalem. Now, family, I've heard many people call Donald Trump the modern-day Cyrus family. This is very interesting. 
Now, family, listen to this part. Does Judaism have two messiahs? The Jewish tradition of the late or early post-Second Temple period alludes to two redeemers, one suffering and the second fulfilling the traditional messianic role, namely being Yosef and being David. Messiah unqualified refers to being David. So what this rabbi is saying that if Harris wins, it's going to be the fourth kingdom coming in and that's not going to be good. But if Trump wins, he's going to be the second non-Jewish Messiah who they expect will help rebuild the third temple. They compare him to a modern day Cyrus family. Guys, this is interesting. And family, a lot of people, Christians use a lot. A lot of them, man, it's almost like they worship Donald Trump. I don't get into politics. I stay out of it. But it's important to remember, the true Messiah is Jesus. Donald Trump is just a man. But I believe Donald Trump is a man that the Most High is using to fulfill his will. But the fact that a rabbi is calling him a non-Jewish Messiah, I think that speaks volumes right there. Guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Well, my beautiful channel family, that's our end time news update for Monday, July 29th, 2024. Let me give a big old thank you for watching as we put a lot of time and work into the update videos. So you guys watching them, family, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And as we see that day approaching, here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, we will continue to bring you all the latest end time news. Well, family, once again, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it, and drop a comment. We greatly appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, hit that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And we are very thankful for all you guys. And I'll give a special thank you to all our channel members. Thank you guys for the support. I dropped the channel member video only a few days ago, and I got another one coming very soon. Be on the lookout for it. And family, if you feel led to make a donation to what we do here at the Watch Them Now News Channel, it would be greatly appreciated and much needed. We have ways you could do so. Check your screen right there or check the description box below. Family, we do ask that you please pray about it first, guys. We always ask that you please pray about it. And guys, remember, any amount helps us on the mission but the biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. But I'm going to ask, please pray that the Most High meets all our needs for the ministry and for our personal life. Guys, we greatly appreciate it. We know the Most High, man, He takes care of the birds. You know He's going to take care of us, family. And family, keep the homeless outreach ministry, the Watchman Street team we got in your prayers. We got an outreach trip coming up on June 10th. So please pray over that trip, guys. We greatly appreciate it. And another way you can support the Watchman Nano News Channel is via our partnership with the Rainbow Health Company. We offer you all natural, healing, biblical anointing oils made with stuff like frankincense to mirror. And family, I'm telling you, these oils work. Some of the things that the oils help relieve the symptoms of are pain and arthritis, sores, wounds, burns, headaches, toothaches, and so much more. So visit www.biblehealingoil.com, use code WATCHMAN20, save 20%, and also receive a free gift. I received some major awesome feedback from subscribers who have bought the oils. Guys, I'm glad they are helping you. Guys, if you're interested in getting some of these oils, go to the website today and use code WATCHMAN20. There will also be a link in the pinned comment below. Just click on it and it'll take you straight to the site. And family, if you need to reach me by email, email me at watchmountainnews at yahoo.com. If you're requesting a free Bible, please include a shipping address. And at this time, we only can ship inside the United States. Also, email me with any questions you have about the healing and anointing oils and anything else. And guys, also follow me on Telegram under Watchman Adam News and TikTok under Watchman Adam News. Well, my Bible Channel family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. And please keep us in your prayers, guys. We have a bunch of needs we need the Most High to meet. But we know that God's already fighting our battle on our behalf. And family, once again, thank you for watching, guys. I love every last one of you. You guys have been a big blessing to my life. You've made my dreams come true. I'm thankful for all y'all. Till next time, Brother Watson Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you and remember. Let's go, Arpazzo! Keep on looking up. Take care. See you in my next video, beautiful people.